Hi, I'm Kathy Morris, and welcome to the very first Arts with a Purpose Senior Arts video series. Each hour-long video will showcase an array of different artists from a variety of different arts disciplines. Don't be surprised if you see something new to you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. My dreams. Hi, my name is Daryl and I play a five string violin and I like to play things that aren't written down, just improvisations. <laughs> Hola, hi, my name is Erica Dominguez Escalante and I'm recording this video today for you to enjoy a little bit of flamenco. I'm gonna dance Alegrías from the south of Spain, from Huelva, and uh, it's a happy dance and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs>
Ole! Thank you so much. I hope you liked it. And just want to say that together we'll be together again. Hopefully I will see you soon and go to your place or together in our classes. And together we can do this, okay? Thank you. Just a closer walk with thee Grand Jesus is my But thou art strong Jesus keep me from all wrong I'll be satisfied as long As I walk, let me walk close to thee When my feet Life is over Time for me will be no more Guide me gently, safely on To thy kingdom shore To thy shore A close walk with thee. Jesus is my plea. Daily walking close to thee. Let it be, dear Lord, let it be. Let it be. Hi friends, welcome. I promised that we would do some, some breath work exercises together as we know it's so important to remain healthy right now. And um, since this disease is attacking, attack, attacking our lungs, it's really critical that we remain as vibrant and as healthy within that, that structure as we can. So I do some breath work every day. It's called the Wim Hof Method. I'm not teaching that today, but if any of you are interested, I have found it to be really a powerful, powerful practice. Um, not traditional yoga, but is obviously very yoga-like. So Wim Hof, two words, first and last name. He's known as the Iceman, if you want to find him on YouTube. What I'm going to do today is to teach us two different techniques of some breath work that you can do as well as in your home. So I'm going to demonstrate the first time. So your arms are up in cactus elbows. We make a fist. We inhale together, we exhale together. We inhale, reach and open those fingers. Exhale, let gravity pull the elbows down, hit the sides of the body, uh, hitting our, our, our sides of the body, which kind of promote that kidney and rib cage to be cleansed out. We inhale, we reach, we exhale, just let the arms fall. We're gonna do that a total of 30 times. We'll rest in between and we'll do that cycle three times. And then I'll teach you just one more practice. So. Bringing the hands to the side, making the fist. Inhale together, exhale together. Inhale, reach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
and one, closing the eyes, hands on the knees, just feeling the beating heart, the tingling of the arms, deepen the breath, slow it down.
Hello, my name is Jerry, and I am going to show you some artwork in my house. These are two painted cellos. One of them is a jazz singer, and the other one obviously has a fall theme with pumpkins. Now I'm going to move over here and show you a painting on my wall of violins, violas, and an upright bass. And it has some metallic paint when the sun shines and it's real bright. And then over here is another painting I did. It's a textured piece. It has lots of um, metallic paint in it also. It's a pretty large, five by four. Then we have another cello right here. And it has a theme of a cabaret. And I'm going to show you the side of it. It has beads strung on the actual cello strings and some fishnet on a string. It's going to be hung on the wall kind of slanted so you can see the singer's faces. Now we're going to move into my kitchen. Here's a pencil drawing I did years ago. But up here I have on the wall some faux brick. I painted that brick on the wall kind of to match my fireplace. Then we have a large painting here that my sister did. And for some silly reason she thinks she can't paint, but she can. Now, we're going to move into my kitchen, and I painted my countertop, as you can see. And it's just acrylic paint, and it was yellow formica before I painted it. And in the background, I did a mural of flowers behind my stove, kind of my splash guard area and there's some more faux brick in the corner. Now next I'm going to go up here and show you my wine carafes. There's three different uh, types of carafes and I paint them with glass paint and I bake them in my oven. And behind it is a painting of bottles of wine. I'll kind of get up close so you can see the grapes on that one. Okay. Then we're going to go over here. I brought my plant in because it's supposed to get really cold again tonight. Ick. Here's another big painting. This one's another 5 by 4 foot textured piece and I just love to do these because I never know what they're going to be till they're all finished. Here's a painting I did of some violins taking a little bow that's called Standing Ovation. Now we're going to come over to this side and here's another violin I painted and she's another little jazz singer. And then I have violins on this side of the room. Here's one that has a grape theme. And my upright bass. I'm going to paint it one of these days, but I want to think of something really good. Here's another grape-themed grape violin. And then behind it is one of my favorites, black and white and red with the piano keyboard. And one of the strings I... I put beads on it. Then these two right here are jazz singers, male and female jazz singers. They're going to go to a music center and be on the men and women's bathroom doors, which will be kind of fun. Now we're going to move into my hallway. And I 
paint my doors in my house. I started that years ago and I just like to do it. And here's an, another one. Here is my close up of an eagle face. And we have another door that has Kleenexes and toilet paper and all the kinds of things you might find in your, your um, bathroom closet. Here is my bathroom door. I'm going to close it. And I painted my toilet on it. That was kind of fun. Oh, there I am in the mirror. Um, that was kind of fun. Now we're going to move in here. I'm going to show you this mirror that I did. I broke a mirror and I did this six feet by, I think it's two feet piece. And it's just a tall, long, textured joint compound. And I smushed the mirror pieces in it. Then when I have um, this painting in my bedroom, it's an acrylic Matches my bedspread if my bed was made. Now we're in my art room. And this is just a fun room. It just has all my art stuff. It's supposed to be the master bedroom, but I use it for my art room because I need the water and the bathroom close by. Here's some more cellos that I painted. Lots of different themes. Here's a chair. I love to do furniture and these are so fun. I'll give a close up because there's all kinds of little patterns. You don't have to think. You just, whatever color you're in the mood for, you just put it on there. Five minutes later, you're in the mood for a different color, you put it on. And it always turns out cute. Here's some more furniture I did. There's a little table back there with the same type of colors as the chair. Now, this is a violin I just started and it's going to be called Music with a Twist. It's going to have a twist of lime and a twist of lemon. The reason is because right over here I have these pillows that are lemon and lime twists and I think they're kind of neat. So I decided to do a violin. Here's one big picture, it's the last thing. It's six foot by two and a half or three. It's a big purple flower picture. And that's all I have for you today. And I hope you enjoyed my art. Welcome everyone, this is Peter Keenley. I'm Monica Hersick and we would love to play some familiar jazz tunes for you and hope you'll enjoy. This first one is called Get Happy.
Thank you.